Try to go for uh, this player here. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute, did he jump? Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a closer look at this new pilot called Dew Tompkins. And uh, if you aren't familiar with this pilot, uh, every time the shell uses its ability, you know, when the blast wave goes off or detonates, it's going to apply suppression. So the suppression lasts for five seconds. And uh, obviously, if you manage to detonate and there's multiple players within a 100 meter radius, you could potentially suppress all of them. Um, unless, of course, they have anti-control. So that is one way uh, to kind of negate the effect of uh, this pilot. Uh, here are the skills I'm going to be running on, uh, you know, this pilot here. If you are interested in the backstory, you can pause this video and read up on that as well. So we have Devastate and Scatter. We have uh, Anti-Control, Nuclear Amplifier, Last Stand, Advanced Repair. And uh, what I've actually done here, I've got two shells. Uh, this one has the exact same setup, same pilot skills as well, except this one is using the Linda Kano. Now, this shell, if you have this pilot, it increases your speed by 30% whenever you use your ability and also it applies 10% more damage. Okay, so what I plan on doing, or what I decided to do here is to run two of them so we can kind of see the differences in speed, but also, uh, you know, how helpful is that suppression as well. Now, in terms of the health, so this is actually 5% uh, less healthier because uh, we do have the uh, paint job, so plus 5%. The uh, Dread Shell is actually plus 10% because it's a limited edition uh, version of the shell. And in terms of the drones, um, I have the exact same drone uh, Nebula. We have the uh, Control Resistor here. We have two of these stacked on Repair Unit Defense and also uh, the On Mild uh, Damage Absorber Shield. So both of these are the same. You can see nothing has changed. So everything is the same and I plan on running two games. So the first game is going to have the Devastator Scatter. The second game is going to have Redeemer Magnums. And then I think what I'll do is at the end, I'll give you my feedback in terms of if I had to choose between the two pilots, uh, which one would I choose? Okay, so we've just dropped into Power Plant Map. And um, I have started with the Linda Kano um, shell. I figured I'd start with this so you guys can see the uh, difference in speed because it is actually pretty significant you know when you use your ability this one you get a 30% speed boost let's try to go for uh, this player here whoa <laughs> wait a minute did he jump man I flipped him to the flipped him to another map <laughs> And on top of that, I think I stole this dude's kill. Oh man, that guy went flying. Okay, yeah, let me go this way. Let's take this guy out. Oh, come on. No point hiding there, man. Okay, so we have a uh, we have a four cap here. I actually don't want to get <laughs> any more beacons. This guy, oh man, I'm gonna flip him again. Almost. I feel like he's doing that on purpose. Okay, so they are getting a second beacon back. Oh man, that guy got flipped too. See ya. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yes, Rampage! Godlike! Um, I actually don't want to get another beacon because... If we do, the game's gonna be over too soon. That guy's gonna be landing here soon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take this guy out. Okay, so I'm kind of actually moving around the map to the point where I don't get any beacons just so that we can get some more footage here.
Let's go for this guy. Oh, I killed both. Yes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to drop in with his Arthur. I think this is going to kill me here. Maybe I can get one more kill if I'm lucky. Ah, oh, shoot. Ugh. No, no. <laughs> okay, let's drop in next with the uh, Dread Shell. So this is the one with the new pilot. Okay, so watch when I when I detonate. You see that? The suppression? So I, I'm thinking actually this shell could actually survive longer because of that suppression. Yep, we got him again. You know what, I guess if you are going up against a lot of titans, this, um, this one could actually be pretty handy. So like, we can hit this player here. When we uh, detonate, we're gonna suppress him. I think I should probably go for uh, this beacon just in case. The beacon bars are now kind of even. I think... I think I'm gonna go for this guy on the left side. He's almost... Uh, he's almost dead. Yeah, let's see if we can get him quickly. Let's just do that. Move forward. Took that guy out. What is this? Nodens? Actually, this is an Arthur. Okay, let's see how, how, how we do here. So we're going to suppress him with the blast. There we go. You know what? I think this one... Oh, shoot. This guy's pushing me into a line of fire. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was gonna say, I actually survived longer with this, but forget I just said that. This guy just pushed me into a line of fire. What I can do is keep on detonating to suppress this Arthur here for him. Maybe steal the kill too for pushing me out in the open like that. Oh no! Another one! He can have him. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Okay, we're gonna suppress this guy with the detonation. There we go. You know what? I think this build is better for fighting titans. I'm starting to see the benefits of having this if you're fighting titans for sure. Regular robots, um, not so much, I think. Because remember, you can put anti-control on a regular robot, but you can't do that uh, on a titan, at least not yet. Oh, you know what? This might actually be a really good counter to the Typhon too. We should test it out or at least try to see if we can find a Typhon in the uh, next game. Because my thinking is, with Typhons, usually with the Linda Kena, when you detonate, you knock their shield down. But this might be able to suppress them, which is actually a really good thing. So they can't do that much damage to you. So we ended up doing 3.9 million, 10 kills, 7 beacons in that game. And this is how we stacked up. So I think what I might do is we're going to put Redeemer Magnums on these two shells. And I'll see you guys in game number two. Okay, so game two we have dropped in on Rome map. And um, I have started with the Linda Kano uh, pilot here. I'm going to have to actually turn my back here. Otherwise, they're going to break my uh, shield. Now I need to try to get to this beacon quickly. Oh man, he got it. Uh -oh, this is not good. Trying to see if I can perhaps uh, bump him off here. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. You know what? If this guy gets taken out, we're going to turn this beacon instantly. Yep. Because we had three players on this beacon. But we're going to lose this. We're going to lose our home beacon here. What's going on? Come on, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the cell burner. Gotta watch out. 
You know what? This is where the other pilot would have worked better because I could have suppressed him every time he detonates like that. So I think for players who are running into a lot of shells, it might be best to actually use the uh, the newer pilot. Yeah, I'm going to get killed here. There's too many of them. So... Oh, we actually got the last kill. What I'm going to do is we're going to drop in with the dread shell. And I should be able to actually handle these players here because I can suppress them. Okay, so we have suppressed both of these guys. Unless, of course, they have anti-control. Okay, there we go. We've suppressed this Fenrir. We're going to do the same thing again. There we go. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually really liking this pilot. I didn't think I would like it as much because, well, only suppression, but you know what? It's actually very handy. Took out that player. Someone is uh, healing me up here, but the, the thing is they have this beacon now. Let's see how, how we do here. Okay, we're going to try to suppress all of these players if we can. Is he going to drop in here? He is. Trying to get in between the three so I can suppress all of them. This guy has been suppressed. Take him out. Rampage. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, trying to evade this guy, but we might be able to actually finish him off here. There we go. Godlike. I'm gonna try to move into the uh, center. There's a, a scorpion here. Come on! Beyond godlike. Trying to take out this Favnir. That guy's gonna kill me. Hold on. Oh, you know what? I could have suppressed both of those leeches. Um, let's drop in with the Typhon. So I'm actually going to do a separate video on this particular build. If you guys are interested in this build, uh, this is pretty, this is pretty nasty, this build, what it can do, but there is going to be a separate video uh, covering it. So if you are interested, definitely uh, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you turn on those channel notifications because uh, you don't want to miss that. I just got hit by this player here, but I think he's going to regret it. Oh, he phase exiled me. Actually, that's giving me time to use my advanced repair here, which is going to be even worse for him. So we're going to do, we're going to roast him up. I did EMP him. Just heal up. There we go. Go after this guy. I EMP'd him as well. He's down to his, uh, well, half health. He phase exiled me again. He's actually helping me though. Can we get him? I tried to see if I could lock him down, but there's someone that's hitting me. No, he phase exiled me again. <laughs> But you know what? If he's phase exiling me, he's not fa phase exiling my uh, teammates. I EMP'd him. That's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. See ya. Yeah, this uh, this build is pretty nasty to deal with. Oh, now they have a uh, they have a Loki here. Ooh, I was gonna try to see if I could lock him down. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> he tried to take me out with that. So yeah, we're gonna see how we did here with the two shells. I'm uh, definitely noticing, um, you know, some advantages to the new pilot, uh, but we did do uh, 4.6 million, 11 kills, five beacons in that game. Uh, this is how we stacked up. And uh, let's just go back to the hangar here. Okay, so my final thoughts when it comes to these two pilots, you know, which one would I choose? Now, this is actually a really tough choice because um, I actually thought there was going to be a clear winner by the end of this video, but that wasn't really the case uh, because as I started to play more games, I started to see some advantages to the Dew Tompkins pilot. Now, I think if I was to use the shell as a beacon runner or if I had a low level uh, shell on like a baby account or something, then I think the Linda Kano might make uh, more sense. Now, I say low level because, um, for example, on my baby account, you know, I'm trying to get to beacons uh, quickly if I'm playing Beacon Rush or Domination. And the Linda Kano uh, gives you a 30% speed boost whenever you use your ability. That's kind of important. Uh, the other thing is the ability damage is going to be increased by 10%. If you have a low level shell, you're trying to get your damage in quickly. Uh, you know, this pilot actually makes more sense uh, in that kind of situation. Now, having said that, if you have like a pretty high level shell or it's maxed out, um, I think the Dew Tompkins might be uh, actually better because I noticed when I was brawling against two to three players uh, at the same time, uh, the Dew Tompkins was actually helping me quite a bit. And also, this pilot works really well against Titans because I found when I was going up against like Arthurs or Nodens, um, every time I used my ability, I was uh, suppressing them. And not only was it annoying, but I was actually getting more damage in. So uh, that's always a good thing. Um, but yeah, like I said, it really depends if you want to use your uh, shell as a brawler or a beacon runner. Um, that will depend on, you know, which pilot I think you go for in the end. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts uh, for the shell and those two pilots. Uh, in the comment section below, let me know which one you would choose for your show if you had a choice. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.